Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning <coughs> Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsbruck for Longmont Public Media. Got a full moon Friday, June 21. Got <coughs> some big sunspots pointing in the dangerous direction for the Earth. And they are quiet. They're huge, but they're quiet. So amazing. Uh, first day of summer, astronomical summer, is Thursday, June 20th at 4.51 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for Longmont. Looking at drought for the last week, it's gotten a little worse up here, a little worse in the southwest, uh, and a little relief out on the eastern plains with wave after wave of thunderstorm. Looking nationally, a uh, little more drought in, in the mountainous west. Nothing big in California, but New Mexico has kind of got it worse. Uh, anybody in New Mexico has the fires going right now. So uh, a little bit of smoke around from that, from south uh, in Mexico and like that. And then we got some fires in the vegetation, dry vegetation in California. As summer, rain stop, vegetation dries out. So you don't have drought conditions, but you still have stuff to burn. Okay, last time for the snowpack. It's kind of funny to talk about it at this point, but you can see it was below, just a little bit below uh, normal through the early part. Mid-peak, uh, it was really good. It dropped down below normal, and then as we've declined, we've stayed just a little bit above where we are, but there's so little snow out there that, well, that's it for this year. Here's the precipitation. The west did get some water, not a lot, but it's really the eastern plains that uh, won in rainfall. Looking at the severe weather climatology, and we are going into the fourth week of June. We're pretty much at the peak, so if we can get it, it will happen now. Wednesday, we had a chance of uh, general thunderstorms. Thursday, we have a marginal risk of uh, damaging hail, damaging streetlight winds. The tornado chances are low and they're up here in the slight risk. A little bit into Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota. For Friday, still in the marginal risk except south of Denver. And then Saturday, things quiet down to just general thunderstorms. <coughs> Looking at the surface map, we do have that cold front uh, moderating. We have we were really cool for a couple days there. In the morning, it was almost chilly. Um, and we have a little bit of high mountain snow. It's crazy. Um, but it's washing out and warming up fast. Here comes the warm front pushing over by Thursday. So the heat comes back for Friday. Thunderstorm chances. And then for Saturday, things dry out a little bit. But we're still in the heat with the front draped north of us. We have normal high temperatures climbing pretty quickly still 84 to 87 over the next 10 days nighttime uh, expected lows 53 to 56 and pretty much chances of thunderstorms every single day some days are just a little quieter than others but um, largely that's due to this trough out west uh, just allowing little short waves to move over and interact with the moisture in place and we do have a lot of moisture so let's take a look at everything in motion nothing to highlight we'll just see the trough over uh, the western states it kind of reverses into a big ridge the heat really kicks in at the beginning of the week and then here's this big high pressure system to our south big ridge right over us yeah that's that's a lot of high pressure there's almost centered right on western uh, Colorado then it shifts over us as another trough comes in at the end of next week but that kind of drifts by to the north <coughs> I've taken up running again so just did my run earlier and my voice is dry uh, I can see afternoon thunderstorms and the purple blobs there the heat out here is that ridge starts to build in replacing the trough and there's thunderstorm blobs for the afternoon dropping cool air with the rain there's more thunderstorms in the afternoon here comes that cool front um, for the middle to part of next week pushes back on the plains not for long thunderstorms in the afternoon thunderstorms in the afternoon and the heat kind of holds on until something more significant maybe comes down next weekend uh, the end of the month 
So I'm looking at the moisture in place. This matters a lot with summer convection. You can see this flow out of the Gulf, across Mexico, and up into the west. Um, that looks like a monsoon flow to me. So, yep, we've got that turning on. And that just keeps a really good pool of moisture around almost through the entire period. It's not until that uh, end of the week cool front starts coming down right there that we start to get some drying but with the drying comes cooling and it still kind of holds on in the eastern plains right there so for the next 10 days or so uh, chances of afternoon thunderstorms looking at the surface moisture the dew points and this is the same story um, we start out a little low there but then 50s there's some 30s right there for sunday so yeah 40s on the plains and then the 50s start coming back there's 30s and 40s for Tuesday, 30, 37, and then by the end of the week, yeah, you can see the moisture trying to come back in, 50s and 60 dew points do start pushing back to the west. Um, it's also very moist in the desert southwest here, Arizona and Mexico. Uh, hopefully they won't have lightning-induced fires, they'll get rains to moisten everything up. So we'll see the thunderstorms here for th Thursday. Friday. You can see the western part of the state's getting more uh, action than it has so far this late spring. And things kind of dry out on Monday. There's a few thunderstorms around. Just about any day it's possible to get a thunderstorm. Um, just there's some days there where it's more likely. And there it is on Wednesday next week, th Thursday next week. And Friday next week as the cold front kind of comes down. So looking over the next five days, it really has a serious bullseye down here in the southwest. And that's where we have some of our worst dry conditions. So that's great. But everybody might get a little bit. Over the next 10 days, the mountains get added to and a little bit more on the plains. So we started Wednesday very cool around the warm up for Thursday and Friday. Then we jump into the 90s, almost 100 by Sunday, with uh, pretty good chances of rain early in this uh, area. With Thursday, Friday having some chance of severe weather, <coughs> stuff gets a little active again next Tuesday. But you just can't rule out some thunderstorm any day ahead. That's it. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth, wishing you to keep looking up.